Morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ellie, and today I'll be sharing my 6am morning routine with you, including my daily rituals and the tools I use each morning to nourish my body and soul. I start every day by making my bed, and if you've seen the famous speech by William McRaven, you'll know it feels good to accomplish something and lays the foundation for your next task. It's also a reminder that the little things in life matter, a lesson which you'll carry with you throughout the rest of the day. I then open the window and let some fresh air in. Even if it's freezing, I find this just helps wake me up. Once I've brushed my teeth, I drink a large glass of water. After being asleep for around eight hours, our bodies are actually dehydrated by the time we wake up. So it's really important to hydrate. I'll then pick out some comfy active wear and hop straight on my yoga mat. Every single morning, I do at least 10 minutes of dynamic stretching and a few yoga poses that help to wake my body up and get the blood flowing. Even and especially on the busiest days, those 10 minutes are an absolute non-negotiable for me. I'll light a couple of candles to set the cozy atmosphere and then I often end up stretching for up to half an hour, perhaps following a yoga video on YouTube. Some of my favorites are Blessed Yoga, Annie Clark and Yoga with Adrian. I love the boost of endorphins this leaves me with. And I love that we no longer need to spend hours working out, dripping with sweat and panting for breath. You can still reap the physical and mental health benefits from a short yoga session. And even just a few minutes is better than no movement at all. All these healthy habits are an essential part of my morning routine and really set me up for a productive day ahead. In fact, I love my morning routine so much that I recently wrote an ebook all about it, including some of my favorite breakfast recipes too. I'll leave a link for the ebook in the description box down below if you want to check it out. Once you begin to implement these healthy habits, your mornings will become a peaceful time for you to fill up your cup before the rest of the world wakes up, and this will help you to thrive for the rest of the day. But don't just take my word for it, try it for yourself, or pick and choose whichever habits work for you. I usually finish my morning stretching with some headstand practice. I don't know what it is about getting upside down, I just find it so invigorating. Once I finish stretching, I stay seated on my yoga mat for a short meditation, usually around five to 10 minutes. And before you jump to conclusions about meditation being too spiritual for you, just hear me out. I'll be honest, it took me quite a while to get into this habit. And I used to be that person who claimed I didn't have the time to meditate. But the truer this is, the more you actually need to meditate. I use an app called Just Breathe, but Calm and Headspace are great too. Close your eyes. Be still. Just breathe. You know, there's so many times in our lives when we're striving to arrive. Studies have shown that daily meditation can help to reduce stress manage anxiety, develop concentration, improve sleep patterns, enhance your self-awareness, and even control pain levels. If you start your morning in a calm, positive, and intentional way, it's likely that the rest of your day will reflect this energy. However, the same applies if you hit the snooze button multiple times, roll out of bed with barely enough time to brush your teeth, and rush out the door. This will likely put you in a state of high stress for the remainder of the day. Every morning I like to write down three things I'm grateful for. This just helps to put me in a positive state of mind for the day ahead. And then I get straight into my to-do list. You may have noticed that up until this point, I've made a conscious effort to stay off my phone, apart from using the meditation app. At this point, I'll have a quick peek at my Instagram, check if there's anything urgent I need to reply to, and then I'll get dressed and head out for a walk.
Exposure to direct sunlight first thing in the morning helps to regulate our circadian rhythm. That's our natural body clock. Beyond the scientific health benefits, taking time to watch the sunrise is a beautifully soothing activity, whether from your garden, front doorstep, or a park bench, my personal favorite. So I pick out a podcast, I've been loving how I built this lately, and head out the door. I use this as an opportunity to get a 30 to 40 minute walk in, and I'm fortunate enough to live next to a park, which is ideal for getting that exposure to nature. These days, most of us spend the majority of our day seated behind our laptops. So it's great to get a morning walk in and you might find you enjoy listening to a motivational podcast, an audiobook, or some upbeat music while you walk. I always feel so grateful by the end of my morning walk and I've been loving watching the trees change colour recently and crunching those autumn leaves. When I get home, I put on a good playlist and jump in the shower. Then I do my skincare routine and I've switched over to completely natural products over the last year and I can definitely say that my skin is thanking me for it. The skin is the body's largest organ, so we need to be really careful what we put on our body as well as what we put in it. Once I've got dressed for the day, it's time to make a nourishing breakfast. I always try to ensure to consume a balance of the three macronutrients, protein, carbohydrate, and fat at breakfast time. To keep my energy levels high and my blood sugar stable, it's also important to incorporate the source of fiber into breakfast. I usually have a big bowl of porridge with lots of toppings like nuts and seeds, or a smoothie bowl topped with granola. But today I had some leftover cinnamon and raisin banana bread lying around, so I popped it in the toaster, spread it with a thick layer of peanut butter and my homemade raspberry chia jam, and had some berries and Brazil nuts on the side. The recipes for both the cinnamon raisin banana bread and the raspberry chia jam can both be found in my new ebook, which is linked below. Every day after breakfast, I make myself a matcha latte, and if you've watched my previous video, you'll know exactly how I make it and why I drink it. Once I've completed my morning routine, I'm ready to get straight into work with a clear head and a productive mindset. These habits are a combination of things that make me feel my best, but feel free to pick and choose and find what resonates most with you and leaves you feeling energetic and excited to tackle the day ahead.